Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabansky. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we give you guys the first perspective on things and how we see them. And today, we have a very interesting show for you guys. Before we get into it, uh, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want today's full show before it comes out, it is streaming for free on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. We have that pinned in the comment section below. Let me get into this topic here. Now, as you guys know, there was a brawl that took place um, a day or so ago against the Minnesota Timberwolves and the Golden State Warriors. All of this ensued uh, in the first opening moments of that game where basically Klay Thompson got into a tussle. And then <clears throat> they were kind of throwing themselves around. Then Rudy Gobert, I guess, came in to try to be the peacemaker. And he kind of wrapped his arm around... Uh, what is it, Clay Thompson, like around his chest area, and then players in there tussling, and then Draymond Green kind of like, you know, rushes up the court, and he immediately jumps on the back of Rudy Gobert and starts choking him out, and not only choking him out, he's choking him and dragging him across the court while other players like Carl Anthony Towns and some coaches were trying to separate them, so that was what happened. <clears throat> And a bunch of players were ejected uh, in that game. So yesterday, the entire day was spent trying to figure out, okay, what is the NBA going to do in terms of its suspension for Draymond Green in terms of the number of games? And various people weighed in. Some people thought it was funny. Some people didn't think it was funny. Uh, so what happened? So late yesterday evening, Adrian Wojnarowski of ESPN published, I uh, basically came out and uh, you know published the information and said it to Malika Andrews, where he essentially said that you know the NBA had come to the conclusion that they were going to assess Draymond Green with the five-game suspension and all the other players involved were going to be fined, I believe, 20 Five thousand or fifty thousand uh, um, dollars, you know, individually. So what we want to do is want to quickly play uh, what Adrian Wojnarowski had to say about the NBA's decision, and then we're going to come back and continue on the show. Take a listen to what he had to say here. Woj, you just reported moments ago that Draymond Green has been suspended for five games as a result of this altercation. How did the league decide on that number? Uh, Malika, two parts. Certainly, uh, the league called Draymond Green's. Uh, a headlock slash choke uh, on Rudy Gobert, a dangerous uh, maneuver on the court, but also the league again acknowledged Draymond Green's history uh, in these instances uh, going back a number of years uh, as a part of the severity of this five-game suspension. I think the length of it surprises the Golden State Warriors. I think it surprised many around the league. Uh, but five games for Draymond Green, uh, that'll cost him about $770,000 uh, in lost salary. And then three other players, Rudy Gobert, Jaden McDaniels, and Klay Thompson, all find $25,000 for their role in that skirmish last night. So you heard what Woj had to say there. So as I heard that, I was now going out there to see what other people had to say. And then Austin Rivers he kind of, I think he, this is the first time I'm seeing him on ESPN. He was on there with Malika Andrews. And then Kendrick Perkins was there. And when it came time for Kendrick Perkins to weigh in, Kendrick seemed to be the only person that will that was willing to keep it real about this Draymond Green incident um, involving Rudy Gobert. But before we even get into his comments, this video is brought to you by our sponsor, Factor Meals. If you're like me or anybody that works at Dreamers Pro, chances are you're a very, very busy person, especially during the lunchtime when you don't have time to go to the grocery store, pick out fresh ingredients, and come back home and cook healthy, delicious meals. Sometimes we're so busy that you just end up finding yourself making a ham sandwich or something like that, which isn't really ideal. And this is the reason why we are excited to be partnering with Factor Meals. Factor Meals is America's number one ready to eat meal kit. You can choose from up to 35 gourmet meals. Every meal is packed with premium ingredients crafted by Factor Meals team of culinary experts and designed by dietitians to ensure that every meal is packed with premium science-backed nutritional quality. Your meals are delivered directly to your door and all you need to do is heat them up in just under two minutes then they are ready for you to eat 
and enjoy. So for example, this week, I think I'm gonna go with the Italian herb chicken. What I love is that under every single meal, you can see if it's a calorie conscious option. For example, this meal I just chose is the dietitian approved calorie smart meal, which is around 550 calories or less per serving, and also a protein plus meal with 30 grams of protein or more per serving. So if you want to give it a try, click the link in the description below or head over to factormeals.com slash dreamers50 and use code dreamers50 to get 50% off. And remember, when you try Factor Meals by using the link in the description below, remember that you're supporting this channel. Thank you. So what we want to do is want to play exactly what Kendrick Perkins had to say about this incident. And then we're going to get into what some of some NBA fans had to say about what, you know, the, the, the decision that the NBA made. Take a listen to that there. Man, listen, here's the thing. All respect to Draymond, right? Future Hall of Famer, four-time NBA champion, four-time All-Star, defensive player of the year. His resume is longer than the holiday weekend. We got that out the way. Okay. The league has to make a statement because it's a problem there. And the problem is, is with Draymond. If you look at his history of him kicking people, of him stepping, I mean, literally hop-stepping on Sabonis last year in the postseason. Donovan Mitchell, I've never heard anyone say anything negative about Donovan Mitchell. How do you get into it with Donovan Mitchell? You're talking that, about over the I'm game talking about Draymond Green two yeah. games ago. Game. So yep. when I'm looking at it, I'm looking at this behavior that he's displaying time and time again. And what I was always told is no one, one individual that's bigger than the league itself. And the league is also supposed to protect their players. And the things that Draymond Green is doing right now on the floor, Adam Silver in the NBA has to make a statement to Draymond. What's a statement? A statement is five to ten games. Wow. Because he has to learn from this. Like, this can't be tolerated. This is unacceptable. And whether, whether or not we, we like Rudy Gobert as a person or whatever the case may be, he's a hell of a basketball player. He's also a Hall of Famer. And the respect level has to be there. There's no way that man should have been in a chokehold like that. Yep. No way in hell. So you heard what Kendrick Perkins had to say. Now, I want to go over some things that some NBA fans uh, said online. I'm going to be reading from a Fadeaway World article. Let me just go over some of the comments that NBA fans said um, uh, said in, in response to this suspension. One person, uh, so, okay, Adrian Wojnarowski put out that information. One person said, should be more. Another person said, hey, they went easy on him. Again, another person said, uh, just talk to Draymond. He said it was uh, an incident. Another person said, significant hit for Warriors. Another person said, understandable. And y'all saying 25 plus games is crazy. And then a bunch of other people went out there uh, and said other things. Now, we actually put up a poll on our channel before producing the show. It was only about an hour fresh. Obviously, by the time the show comes, okay, two hours. By the time the show comes out, it's going to have thousands of votes. So of the 4,000 people that have voted so far, we asked the question, how many games should Draymond Green have been suspended? Uh, we had less than five games, five games, more than five games. Of the 4,000 people that have voted, more than half of them have said that they believe Draymond Green uh, should have gotten more than five games and then the other and then 23 percent said five games so i think 70 percent of the people that voted on this poll 75 percent of the people that voted on this poll believe that draymond green should have been suspended for at least five games or more and only 24 percent believe that he should be suspended for less now here are my thoughts on this and i'm gonna keep it 100 uh, with you guys draymond green um is always with the antics man Draymond is a, like when he ran up on Rudy Gobert and choked him out at that at me watching that I was looking at that and saying to myself bro what are you doing like what what are you doing why are you why do you have this dude in some type of chokehold clothesline move or whatever the hell it was and you're choking him like this the thing I didn't understand was Draymond was choking Rudy Gobert as if Rudy Gobert was the aggressor. Rudy Gobert was just trying to separate both parties. Now, some people are saying, oh, you grab your own player, you grab, yeah, you grab your own player depending on what side of the court you're on. But if you just run into it, you're gonna also try to separate guys. Now, I heard a lot of people on TV say yesterday, you know, 
grab your man, grab your man, grab your man. That's total nonsense. You know how I know this? Because I remember when the fight took place between Chris Ball and Rajon Rondo, Carmelo Anthony was standing right there. LeBron James was standing right there, and you could clearly see them trying to pull away various players on opposing teams because these guys were trying to separate it. As a matter of fact, if you look at Carmelo's arm, I don't even think Carmelo was teammates with Chris Paul. And he was trying to pull him out of there by grabbing him here. So now just imagine if somebody else came out, like uh, uh, Chris Paul's teammate, and throws Carmelo Anthony into a chokehold? Like, what are we talking about right now? What I think was a lot of people wanted to be with the S. They wanted to see the nonsense, the BS. So they was all for it. Some people are infatuated with the BS. To me, listen, again, I'm going to say it again. This is another sucker move. And I appreciate uh, uh, the candor from Kendrick Perkins from keeping it 100. Like, yo, you're always kicking dudes in their private. You act like you don't know what's going on. When dudes retaliate, nobody's there to find you. No one is there to find you. Some people have been saying Draymond is picking and choosing who he wants to go to. We all heard the Brandon In Ingram story. I mean, the, the Brandon Jennings story when Tristan Thompson put his goon down on Draymond Green. Where was all of this at? That's what Brandon Jennings said. He said Draymond was talking that spicy, you know what? And Tristan Thompson put his goon down on him. And that was that. So to me, man, I'm not with all of the antics. Draymond always with the antics. He, I, You rarely see him head up somebody face to face. There's always some sucker thing, act, shoving someone, acting like you didn't see what you said. It's, you said sucker punching smaller dude. It's always it's always these, these antics. Like, come on, like enough is enough. Some people thought it was cool. I didn't. I was just like, yo, this is just some antics. Kicking dudes in a private. Like, yo, what's going on? Why, why are you the only one constantly kicking dudes in a First of all, what kind of move is that? So some people supported it. Some people thought it was funny. I didn't. I didn't. That happened during a play-in tournament. NBA is trying to sell a new uh, sell a new product, and you're there to turn it into the WWE, and some people thought that was funny. I don't think it's funny. I'm sorry. I don't think that's funny. That's not a fight. You're running behind somebody and clotheslining them, you, I mean, and, and choking them out, you didn't fight nothing. That's not a fight. You didn't win nothing. The dude wasn't even able to defend himself. You came from the behind and then throw him into a choco. And why, you saw how I, like, why are you doing all of that? What is the purpose of all of this? Like, what what, what got you fired up? Like, like he was choking him like a sip. I don't want to, anyway. Some people love it. I don't. I think it's cornball behavior. That's just my, that's just my thoughts. Whatever y'all think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. We catch you guys on the next show. Peace.